Welcome to Star C Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. If you would like to support me, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe as um we do a myriad of things over here on my corner of YouTube land to support my initiatives, my content, or how I get down on other corners of the wild, wild web, check out my description box below. All right, this is going to be a journal energy read. Thursday, July 25th, 2024 at 2.44 a.m. All right, leading off the read, we have, I am jealous over how independent you are. All right, so there's someone in your energetic field right now or someone who may be having these unreserved feelings about you Star seeds. Someone is jealous over how independent you are. All right. You know, that comes with the territory of being great. But what a lot of people don't understand for those who are independent is that life brings you through things where for you to touch any level of success, you have no other choice but to be. Someone possibly wants you to be more codependent. Let's find out what this is about here. Someone is jealous over how independent you are. Okay. You have ancient soul. Okay. You could be an old soul or you may resonate with that frequency of being here quite a few times. Right. This is your first rodeo. Okay, you're also getting yes, thank you. All right, so there's a dynamic of how you show up in the world, Starseed, that many feel that it is extremely strong-willed, independent in nature, naturally. All right, so hmm, this person is giving you the evil eye, or they might be a little jelly as to how independent you are. Okay, I'm not understanding why, but this, again, this could be based off of a lot of different things. All right, let's just keep pulling. Let's just say I've seen a few things. I've been through a few things in my life. Being independent was the only way I could survive. All right. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. All right. So this person may have a strong presence of cardinal energy in their natal chart. Be bold and make the first move. Someone may be wanting to take action towards you, Starseed. With the intentions of trying to control something here. Hmm. So someone is planning to take action based off of these jealous emotions. Someone is emotionally driven to control some dynamic of what you got going on, star seeds, and this is based off of emotion, not principle. Okay, so this may be someone that sees themselves in a position of power over you. Just reading the cards. Okay, you have ancient soul. Clarifying ancient soul. We have self love, creation, and intentions. You create from the heart space, star seed. Okay, there's a dynamic of this ancient soul energy that you put into the things you create or the way that you express yourself this lifetime. Okay, right. And you are thankful to the universe for this opportunity as this is a way for you to mirror back to the etheric realms your self-worth and expectations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. It's so important. 
to balance your energy out. All right, let's see what else comes out. What is control tactics, Holy Spirit? Okay, you have the letter N, building blocks here, building blocks. Somebody is trying to control what you're building here to some form or fashion. Somebody is trying to sequester control over something that you're building towards. Hmm. Yeah. Throat chakra. They possibly want to control the dynamic of how you express what you're building. I am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talents. I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more, and I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. So somebody is jealous over the fact that you express yourself creatively. That's quite literally what's coming out. And someone may feel that you building upon this creative expression they want to control that or control you getting to that. <laughs> I don't know who this person is. They have an ego problem big time. You have ancient soul. Let's see what energy center comes out there. Mm -hmm. Crown chakra. And you connect with this ancient soul essence through receiving of the crown i am kind to all i am aware that everything i do or say affects others i will help those who seek it and i will seek out ways to be of service i develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of always waiting to be asked everything i do i do from a spiritual perspective and i put my heart into it because you create from the heart space and as you continue to receive ancient knowledge or energy from the crown, you know that energy both comes up through the kundalini stem and the energy centers. It also comes and works its way back down. It's a cyclic process that charges and assists you in expanding <clears throat> your personal merkabic field, your aura, right? Hmm. So there's some dynamic of what you got going on here that <clears throat> has selflessness to it. But even despite you carrying out a more spiritual essence to the things you create, to how you show up in the world, somebody wants to control that because they're jealous. It's, it's quite simple. That That's the only reason that has come up here. Okay? That's the only reason. Not because you're doing any harm to them. You probably create and your intentions aren't to harm anyone. Yet, you're beginning to realize that this may show up. This concept of energy shows up in multiple different ways in your life because as you continue through your journey you'll beget to understand that there may not be a lot of people that resonate with this freedom to be oneself a lot of people are programmed unconsciously and consciously to see things, and I don't even want to say traditional, because tradition depends on who programmed you. They are more accustomed to societal norms and conditioning. 
Therefore, if you don't sequester to what they feel you should be doing, they're going to try to control that output. Okay? And a lot of factors go into this, star seeds. Demographics, right? Census, okay? You defying and being an anomaly to statistics is something that a lot of people are going to be jealous about. But you're not here to focus on that energy. What you need to be focused on is continuing your calling and expressing that calling in the many different ways that you show up in the world. All right? Somebody wants to control your creative expression here and what you're building towards. Okay? But be mindful that if anyone comes across you and express this to you, that this is only occurring out of jealousy and not because they have your best interests at heart. I want you to be mindful of that. Mm hmm. Yes, whoever this energy is, it's quite karmic. karmic. The contract or exchange that you have with this person, this person may be confused and irritated. <clears throat> Possibly how you're able to execute all these things, not understanding that everything is energy, okay? Someone is very close-minded, whoever this energy is. They don't understand that, okay? They don't. Okay, for some of you, they could be getting haunted by spirit at the moment, which may even be more perplexing to them. This energy control tactics. What is going on here? They don't want you to express your truth because your truth, <laughs> it's like, Going throughout grade school, you learn the primary foundations of mathematics. And then there's geometry and calculus and more advanced concepts of math that may feel like you're starting all over again or learning a new language. It may be quite a bit of a conundrum upon first exploring this. But it's the mind that is open to receive. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Crown. To understand that there is always knowledge to be received. This person may not have all the answers. And they may be in a position to usually have all the answers. If anything, they shouldn't be confused and irritated. They should be excited because now they've reached a, an opportunity to expand. But this person is so used to controlling a narrative here. And when they feel that they are not in control, well, they start... Trying to figure out how to deal with that emotion. Okay. Right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because they're not open to receive. They're not open to receive. They're not open to receive divine knowledge. They're not open to receive any knowledge beyond what they currently facilitate out of. And for you to level up in life, you need to be open to receive. And once you receive, you're supposed to what? Turn around and guide others. Where are you guiding people to if you're not open to receive? Well, 
conceptually, you would be guiding them to a dead end because you're not open to receive to get the divine map to move forward. Somebody is hitting a plateau here and they're not understanding why you're not. Strength in reverse, seven of swords in reverse. Okay, somebody is weakened by this truth you express. Somebody also feels what is seven of, seven of swords in reverse, Holy Spirit. Right. They're not understanding. They're not understanding. Something doesn't make sense to them. This is going to cause a tower for somebody. They're confused and irritated. They're not understanding why this is occurring. Mm-hmm. Lovers in reverse. This could be because there's some dynamic of them not loving themselves, or some dynamic of them not mirroring to the universe what they desire. Okay, you got lovers in reverse, you have the tower, you have the strength card in reverse. Somebody is very controlling here. Okay, somebody feels that they can't express themselves in the way that you do which is making them feel inadequate there's a lot of watching somebody else's study guide here somebody is not doing that inner work and they're trying to figure out why you're able to do what you do but that's because you're consistently working on yourself whoever this energy is that is jealous of you Starseed, this person is not putting in that work. And that's what I tell people all the time. You can't, it's, it's one thing to make it look like you're putting in the work. It's a whole nother thing to actually be putting it in. It's not something that is validated by other people. It's not something that um, you could just say, okay, well, this is my calling. So now I'm going to do this. Your calling may differ from this person's calling, yet they're evil lying what you do and how you show up in the world, and you are just, you're expressing yourself. Your light is going to irritate people's demons, okay? While this person may think they don't have no demons, well, in due time, the universe reveals a lot of things, okay? What is this lovers in reverse here? Yeah, five of swords. This person could be jealous over how independent you are, how you're able to facilitate things without a companion. While this person may feel like they rely on relationships to get to where they're going. And this is how I feel about it. And I don't have no shade against being in a relationship, right? But for me to really attract what I desire in a mate, I wholeheartedly believe. And this is not something that I've always believed, right? It took time, me knowing myself, learning myself to understand that you are not capable of attracting what you yourself cannot emit. So... For me to have ancient soul energy or you, Starseed, to have ancient soul energy, you understand that to attract love, to attract self-worth, you first have to embody it. 